हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर और इन आवर अर्लियर लेक्चर वी आर स्टार्ट यूनिट नंबर थर्ड इन पेपर सेकंड दैट इज कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ टोटल टैक्सेबल इनकम ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर स्टडीड ऑल थेरोटिकल पार्ट्स रिलेटिंग टू द यूनिट नंबर थर्ड एज वेल एज वी सॉल्व ए फाइव इलुस्ट्रेशन ऑन कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ इनकम फ्रॉम सैलरी ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सॉल्व द बेसिक इलुस्ट्रेशन टू कंप्यूट ए इनकम फ्रॉम सैलरी ओके इन आवर टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए फुल प्रॉब्लम और फुल इलुस्ट्रेशन ओके दैट इज वी हैव टू कंप्यूट ए इनकम फ्रॉम फाइव हेड्स ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल ओके दैट इज इनकम फ्रॉम सैलरी इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी इनकम from business and gains and income from capital gain okay so these are the heads of income in our today's lecture we are solve a first illustration on computation of total taxable income of an individual okay so here illustration is display on your screen so first of all the first rule to compute taxable income uh, that is to read the illustrations carefully then to bifurcate the incomes earned from respective heads okay so here we first of all read the illustration uh, so here chandan working is a limited company so chandan is working in a limited company in mumbai okay so place is very important okay so chandan is working in a limited company at mumbai has furnished the following details of his income for the year ended 31st march 2021 so chandan is the employee who worked in a limited company at mumbai and he furnished you the details of income for the year ended 31st march 2021 so basic salary so here basic salary is given so basic salary is part of salary okay so it is a income relating to the head of salary so it is a income relating to the salary then bonus equal to 6 months basic pay so uh, the chandan received a bonus from company is equal to basic salary equal to basic salary of 6 months okay so he received a 6 month basic salary as a bonus so it is also part of uh, income from salary so it is also part of income from salary then transport allowance okay so transport allowance is received is received from employer to employee it is add in the salary of that employee okay got it that employee so it is also part of salary so remember one thing that the allowances are exempted we already discussed the taxable allowances exempted allowances okay so transport allowance okay transport allowance for coming to office and going back to his residence at rupees 1200 per month okay so the chandan received 1200 per month for transport as a transport allowance for coming to office and going back to his residence so transport allowance is uh, all are taxable fully taxable okay only for handicapped person the transport allowance is exempted okay so we already discussed the exemption allowed for a uh, handicapped person okay that is transport allowance is allowed for uh, exemption to handicapped person here entertainment allowance so entertainment allowance is also a part of salary okay it is also part of salary okay and uh, it is uh, fully taxable entertainment allowance is allowed for deduction 
only for government employee okay and we uh, know the computation of exempted entertainment allowance for government employee okay so we compute entertainment allowance uh, or exempted entertainment allowance only for government employees private uh, workers or private employee has not received the exemption of entertainment allowance okay so entertainment allowance is fully taxable if government employee uh, received the entertainment allowance then we separately uh, make a working note for uh, computation of exemption or exempted entertainment allowance okay that is 5% uh, or one half percent of uh, basic pay okay uh, actual uh, entertainment allowance received and uh, entertainment allowance is deducted from gross salary okay under section 16 subsection 2 okay so remember, uh, remember one thing that the entertainment allowances allow for exemption only for government employee. Okay. Then HRA. HRA it is also part of salary. But we have to compute a exempted HRA. Okay. So for computation of exempted HRA, we need to prepare working note. Okay. That is, that is actually hra received then 10 percent actually hra received then uh, 10 percent of salary okay that is actual hra received rent paid minus 10 percent of salary or 50 or 40 percent of uh, salary okay uh, then we compare these three value and those value which is less is taken into consideration as a exempted hra okay as a exempted hra so here we need to make a working note for computation of exempted yachari okay then uh, personal medical bill of rupees 10000 uh, were reimbursed by the employer his treatment has been done in the private nursing home not belong to the employer so whatever is given to employer okay whatever the amount is given to employee from employer okay it means uh, whatever the amount received from employer all are taxable so it is also part of salary and it is fully taxable okay so medical treatment okay personal medical bill of chandan amounting to rupees 10,000 were paid by the employer okay and his treatment uh, is done in the private nursing home and uh, uh, the uh, hospital is not belonging to the employer so it is a uh, taxable his contribution to recognized provident fund is rupees 19368 and the employer's contribution uh, contributes an equal amount so chandan has contributed a amount of rupees 19,368 in recognized provident fund R P F, and the equal amount is contributed by the employer. So here whatever the amount is given to the employer to employee are taxable. But here recognized provident fund. So it is also part of salary and we have to compute a working note. Okay, working note on contribution of employer. Okay, so we know that the employer's contribution is exempted up to 12%. So we deduct the 12%, we compute the 12%. That is 12% uh, amount of contribution is allowed. Allowed. Remaining all are taxable it means the employer has contribute only up to 12 percent of the salary of employee okay so 12 percent of salary of the employee okay so we need to find out the 12 percent of salary okay so then next next uh, next that is the interest credited to provident fund account at 9.5 percent per annum 
is rupees 7410 so it is also part of salary but the interest on provident fund is exempted up to 9.5 percent so total amount is exempted so here we need to deduct 9.5 percent of interest are allowed for exemption or is allowed for exemption so up to 9.5 percent it is exempted remaining balance is taxable but here uh, the chandan received a interest on provident fund that is 9.5 percent so all are a uh, exempted from tax interest on government securities that is gross so it is a income from other source okay interest earned on government security so income from other source ios income from units it is also income from other source so he uh, invest their money in mutual fund and received a income from uh, unit trust of india amounting to rupees 5500 interest on bank deposit it is also income from other source okay then donation donation to prime minister national relief fund so donation donation to prime minister national relief fund okay so donation is allowed for a deduction okay allow for deduction uh, from gross total income gross total income under section 80 80g okay so 80g so remember we already discussed the chart of uh, uh, chart of donation allow for deduction that is 50 percent or 100 percent so here donation to prime minister national relief fund so all donation is allow for deduction so 100 percent donation is allow for deduction okay then donation to the government for promotion of family planning so it is also uh, deduction allowed under section 80g from gross total income that is 100 percent life insurance premium life insurance premium is also allow for deduction under section 80c okay it is a section relating to the atc okay actual premium paid or actual premium pair or 10% uh, of sum assured or 20% of sum assured whichever is lower is allowed for deduction so sum assured is not given so here we consider the life insurance premium paid amounting to rupees 4200 is allowed for deduction under section 80c then professional tax so it is also deduction allowed under section 16 subsection 3 okay allowed for deduction from gross salary okay gross gross salary okay gross salary under section 16 subsection 3 okay so here we by forget now we compute the taxable income and uh, for the assessment year 2021-22 of Mr. Chand. Bagata parate ek da panita explain karuya. Ata ya madhya apne la paas head cha computation karaye jaye. Paas head apne la mahita hai income che. Okay, salary asel, house property asel, business profession asel, capital gain asel. Okay, tya cha nantran ki. Income from other sources, a she parts heads. Okay, three parts heads cha total lakh I meant like that total income. Okay, total income of an individual salary. Che mudamun upon parts illustration. She clearly a he kashi clother barre peki salaries apart. Ham just the yama de haplela di suni to them upon salary share related as the reserve adjustment as still. Taxable allowances are still exempted allowances are still perquisites are still tax borrower 
अपन ये इलुस्ट्रेशन्स आती डिडक्शन्स आती हे सर्व अपन लास्ट लेक्चर मध्य अभ्यास लेला है कि मगे जे जी अपने लेक्चर जाए अपन अभ्यास ले आता आज अपन पूर्ण इलुस्ट्रेशन घेर है पूर्ण मजे टू कंप्यूट ए टोटल टैक्सेबल इनकम ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल सो इनकम अर्न फ्रॉम फाइव हेड्स ओके पांच हेड या इनकम ची टोटल मजे तो इंडिविजुअल व्यक्ति चार है टैक्सेबल इनकम आना है आता इलुस्ट्रेशन इत दिल कि मिस्टर चंदन है तो लिमिटेड कंपनी मधे काम करता है ती कंपनी मुंबई में लोकेटेड है ओके okay. अपने इनकम ची डिटेल्स यठिका दिल्ली है एकतीस मार्च दोन हजार एकवीस की बेसिक सैलरी दिल्ली है तेरह हजार दोन से आता बेसिक सैलरी इट इज ए पार्ट ऑफ सैलरी मन अपन तो सैलरी हेड खा घेना बोनस सुधा सैलरी का पार्ट है मनु सैलरी हेड खा जाए परंतु बोनस का संगित है बोनस इक्वल टू सिक्स मंथ बेसिक सैलरी सहा महीन की सैलरी जे आहे ती तेन्ना बोनस मनु मिलना है मनु इतना अपन कस कम्प्यूटेसन करना तेरह हजार दोन से मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थर्टीन थाउजंड थ्री हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स इज इक्वल टू द बोनस इज इक्वल टू द बोनस सेवेन्टी नाइन थाउजंड टू हंड्रेड अस तिथ ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउंस फॉर कमिंग टू ऑफिस एंड गोइंग बैक टू हिज रेसिड आता ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउंस मिलते हैं बाराशे रुपये पर मंथ हा सुधा सगे अलाउंस है सैलरी का पार्ट है आता ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउंस फिडक्शन सा अलाउड है तो फिर हैंडीकैप पर्सन सा तीन हजार दौनशे रुपये तीन हजार सहाशे रुपये अमे कैटेगरी है ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउंस एक्जाम है फ्त हैंडीकैप सा आता हा हैंडीकैप पर्सन नहीं क्या हाँ फुल्ली का रहना है टैक्सेबल रहना है ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउंस फुल्ली टैक्सेबल रह एंटरटेनमेंट अलाउंस इट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ सैलरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी एड द एंटरटेनमेंट अलाउंस इन सैलरी एंड देन वी गेट ए डिडक्शन फ्रॉम ग्रॉस सैलरी अंडर सेक्शन सिक्सटीन सब सेक्शन टू ओके फॉर ओनली गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉज आता चंदन हा गवर्मेंट एम्प्लॉय है का नहीं मनु हा सु फुल्ली का रहना है टैक्सेबल रह टैक्सेबल रहता है ये रिसीव्ड अमाउंटिंग टू रुपीज टू थाउजंड पर मंथ फ्रॉम द एम्प्लॉयर बट ही पेड ए रेंट ऑफ रुपीज टू थाउजंड फाइव हंड्रेड पर मंथ ठीक है दोन हजार यार मिलते एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉयर तेज रेंट पेड कर फ्रॉम द एम्प्लॉयर बट ही पेड द रेंट मे एम्प्लॉयर तचारे का हाउस रेंट अलाउंस देते है एक्चुअल रेंट पेड कि करता है दोन हजार पांचे पर मंथ ये वर्किंग नोट है पैलदा सैलरी कम्प्यूट करा लगे आन अपने एक्जम्टेड एच आर ए कम्प्यूट करावा लगे मैं तीन हेड्स हैं पैलदा एक्चुअल एच आर ए रिसीव्ड देन रेंट पेड माइनस टेन पर्सेंट ऑफ सैलरी एंड फिफ्टी और फोर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ सैलरी फिफ्टी पर्सेंट सैलरी और 50% परसेंट ऑफ सैलरी इज टेकन इन टू कन्सिडरेशन वेन द एम्प्लॉई वर्कड इन मेट्रो सिटीज ओके एंड फोर्टी पर्सेंट सैलरी फॉर अदर सिटीज ओके एक्सेप्ट मुंबई चेन्नई कोलकाता ओके मुंबई चेन्नई अशा चार सिटीज है तो सीटी वगैरह तो क्या रह रहा है फोर्टी पर्सेंट रह ठीक है तेजन पर्सनल मेडिकल बिल है दा हजारा तो देते एम्प्लॉयर टैक्सेबल है आता इत दो पार्ट है कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू आरपीएफ पैलदा एम्प्लॉयर च कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन रहें टैक्सेबल एक्जम रह बारह टक्के रिमेनिंग टैक्सेबल एम्प्लॉज मे चंदन चे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है तो ए टी सी ए टी सी या अंतर्गत डिडक्शन सा अलाउड राहल ओके सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉई टू रिकग्नाइज द प्रोविडंट फंड इज अलाउड फॉर डिडक्शन अंडर सेक्शन ए टी सी ओके सो होल ऑफ द अमाउंट इज अलाउड फॉर डिडक्शन फ्रॉम ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम 
interest so we already discussed the interest interest is a part of uh, uh, income of salary but up to 9.5 percent it is exempted first of all we uh, taken into consideration the interest received and then we deduct the exempted interest credited to recognized provident fund then interest on government securities it is an income from other source income from units of the unit trust of india it is also income from other source interest on bank deposit received it is also income from other source donation to prime minister national relief fund it is allowed for deduction under section 80g that is 100 percent deduction is allowed donation to the government for promotion of family planning group is 2000 it is also 100 percent allow for deduction under section 80g okay life insurance premium it is also uh, a contribution of employee okay contribution of employee so contribution of employee is allowed for deduction under section 80c professional tax paid so it is also uh, deducted from gross salary of the employee okay here yeah upon pile key he serve upon by forget kill at the child upon tensa give a mr chandani answer taxable income compute corner so here solution computation of total taxable income of mr chandan then then assessment year okay assessment year 2021-2022 previous year that is 2020-21 then next prepare three columns prepare three columns that is particulars rupees and rupees now first of all compute first point compute income from salary remember one thing that here we compute a total income of an individual so total income from five heads income from salary income from HP HP means house property income from business and profession capital gain and lastly the income from other source okay total of five heads is called the total income of an individual so here we compute a income from salary first okay so we know the income from salary we bifurcate the income earned from salary so first of all basic salary here basic salary is given okay so basic salary three thousand sorry thirteen thousand two hundred per month per month okay per month so here first that is basic salary that is 3200 multiplied by per month so 12 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 12 in outer column all are taxable amount fully taxable basic salary 1 lakh 1 lakh 58400 is the income received from basic salary income received from basic salary okay then next that is bonus okay bonus is equal to six month basic salary okay so we here we already compute the amount of bonus okay amount of bonus that is 79200 bonus is equal to six month basic salary that is 
into bracket 13,200 multiplied by 6 month is equal to 79,200. 79,200. Okay. Then next. The next. That is transport allowance. Okay. So transport allowance. Transport allowance 1200 per month fully taxable per month multiplied by 12. So, in amounting column, rupees 14400. Then, next transport allowance is taken into consideration. So we highlight the transport allowance once we consider then we cannot again consider the transport allowance so that we highlight the transport allowance by yellow color entertainment allowance so entertainment allowance remember one thing that uh, entertainment in allowance is allowed for deduction only for government employee from gross salary so first of all we add the entertainment allowance in uh, salary and then we get a deduction under section 16 subsection 2 okay from gross salary okay from gross salary so entertainment allowance and chandan is a working in a limited company private company so it is taxable fully taxable entertainment allowance rupees 450 per month multiplied by 12 per month so convert these entertainment allowance in year okay so per month the chandan received 450 so for 12 months we compute we compute a or for the we compute total income for a year okay so here we compute or convert the monthly allowance into year ok so 450 multiplied by 12 that is 5400 5400 ok then next the next that is yachari house rent allowance so yachari actually yachari received actually yachari received 2000 2000 multiplied by 12 that is 24,000 in inner column because working note we need to compute working note or exempted HRA okay here so that we uh, put the figure in inner column okay we need to make a working note exempted HRA make a working note of exempted HRA so here here First of all, first of all, for computation of exempted HRA, we need to compute salary. So, salary means salary for HRA is equal to salary for HRA is equal to basic pay plus DA into bracket considered for retirement benefit okay plus 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 
प्लस कमीशन ऑन सेल्स ओके कमीशन ऑन सेल्स सो हियर बेसिक पे इज गिवन हियर दैट इज बेसिक पे इज इक्वल टू वन लैक फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ओके सो हियर वी कंप्यूट द बेसिक पे ओके वन लैक फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड then da da is not given so amount in column nil plus commission so commission is also not given so commission on sale is nil so salary is equal to 158400 now okay so first of all compute salary for hra then go to prepare working note so working note for r एग्जाम्पटेड एच आर कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ एग्जाम्पटेड एच आर ए इन टू ब्रैकेट लिस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थ्री लिस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थ्री ओके so first first that is h r a h r a received actually h r a received not actually h r a received so actually h r a received 2000 multiplied by 12 that is 24000 then second rent paid so rent paid the employee paid a rent okay so the employee paid a rent amounting to rupees so here he paid he means the employee paid a rent of rupees rent of rupees 2500 per month so here into bracket 2500 multiplied by 12 okay is equal to in inner column in inner column put the figure that is that is 30000 less 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 10% of salary so 10% so deduct 10% of salary from rent paid okay deduct 10% from salary uh, sorry rent paid so 10% on we compute a salary okay salary for hra so here 10% on One lakh fifty eight thousand four hundred ten percent. So here into bracket ten divided by hundred multiplied by multiplied by one lakh one lakh fifty eight thousand four hundred. That is that is that is. Fifteen thousand eight hundred forty. Fifteen thousand eight hundred forty. So deduct fifteen thousand eight hundred forty from thirty thousand. Okay, we received actual actual rent paid. So here. Fourteen thousand one hundred sixty. Okay, and third, that is third, that is fifty percent of 
salary. Why we consider the 50% of salary? Because the Chandan is worked in Mumbai, worked at Mumbai. Worked at Mumbai. Metropolitan cities or metro cities. Okay. So 50% compute 50% on salary. We already compute salary. That is here yet salary for HRA. So 50% of that is 50 divided by 100 multiplied by 1 lakh 58,400. So put the figure in outer column that is 79,200. Okay, now compute exempted HRA. Okay, compute exempted HRA. So exempted HRA is equal to list of the following three. List of the following three. So here, those value which is less is allowed for deduction. So exempted HRA is equal to Fourteen thousand one hundred sixty. Okay. Got it. So here we compute the exempted yachari. Okay. Exempted yachari fourteen thousand one hundred one hundred sixty. List of the following. list of the following three so list value is 14160 got it got it so deduct this 14000 here less less exempted hra working note working note Number first working note number first. Okay, that is fourteen thousand one hundred sixty. So remaining balance is taxable. So did up fourteen thousand from fourteen thousand one hundred sixty from twenty four thousand. That is 9,000, 9,840, it's taxable, got it? Then next, then next, so here fully taxable, the medical fee reimbursed by employer, fully taxable, amounting to rupees 10,000. medical bill reimbursed amounting to rupees 10,000 
okay then next the next contribution so employer first of all we consider the employer contribution okay so employer contribution is taken into consideration here employer to rpf in inner column amounting to rupees 19000 19,968 less exempted less exempted up to 12 percent 12 percent of salary okay so 12 percent of salary that is that is that is that is here salary we already compute salary that is one lakh fifty eight thousand four hundred into twelve percent that is so here into bracket twelve divided by hundred multiplied by salary that is one lakh 58,400 okay so salary is equal to salary for HRA basic pay plus DA okay consider for retirement benefit are taken into consideration so here 19,000 exempted Nineteen thousand eight rupees is allowed for deduction and remaining balance is taxable that is remaining balance is rupees 960 960 the next that is the next that is interest okay so it is also part of salary okay it is also part of salary so interest but remember one thing that the interest credited to rpf is exempted is exempted up to rup up to 9.5 percent so interest credited to RPF at 9.5 percent that is 7000 7410 okay 7410 and exempted less up to 9.5 percent so exempted is deducted from so total interest is exempted 7410 so here total interest is exempted in outer column amounting to rupees nil Then next, then next, okay, next, that is here, we compute or we taken into consideration a income received from salary of Mr. Chandra. Now we make the total and that total is called, now we make the total. Now we make the total 
that total is called so here total 2 lakh 78,200 that total is called gross salary okay gross salary then we get a deduction less okay so here we find out the gross salary that is 2,78,200 now here we deduct less less deductions under section 16 under section 16 that is first first standard deduction standard deduction subsection first a that is 50,000 okay we know the standard deduction is applicable from uh, assessment year 2019-20 okay uh, in 1920 the standard deduction is uh, allowed for salaried person amounting to rupees 40,000 then the standard deduction is uh, increased by rupees 10,000 and the maximum standard deduction for assessment year 2020-21 amounting to rupees 50,000 so standard deduction is rupees 50,000 then next second second that is that is entertainment allowance only for government employee gbt govt government employee here chandan is not government employee so he can't claim the deduction under section 16 so nil and third that is professional tax so he paid a professional tax under section 3 so professional tax paid by employee 2500 here the last item that is 2500 2500 okay now make the total and deduct this total from gross salary so here deduct 52500 from gross salary amounting to rupees 2 lakh 78,200 here we get the income from salary that is we received a head income from salary first okay that is amounting to rupees 225,700 okay okay it is called income from income from salary got it then next then next 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 that is that is income from house property second point second head of income income from house 
property so income from house property is not given in the illustration so in directly we put the figure direct nil in outer column nil okay nil then we make the total okay then next that is third head of income that is income from business or profession so income from business and profession is also not given okay so he only uh, worked in a private company then fourth head fourth head that is income or capital gain so capital gain is also not given in the illustration so directly put figure in outer column that is nil then last that is last head that is income from other source or other sources so income from other sources is given in the illustration income from other sources is given in the illustration okay so we know the income from other sources here income from other sources okay all these are the income from other sources all these means all these three okay interest on government security 3000 trust and so on income on government got security amounting to rupees 3000 in inner column in inner column interest on government securities here that is amounting to rupees 3000 interest from or income from UTI so income from UTI fully exempted okay unit trust of India nil it is also part of income but it is totally exempted so here directly we write it as a nil then next income from income from bank deposits amounting to rupees 3000 Add this income in all the heads of income. So here six thousand is add in the income. So here we received the total that is that is two lakh. Two lakh thirty one thousand seven hundred is the gross total income. Gross total income. Okay, gross total income. Then we deduct. Okay, from gross total income we deduct. What we deduct? We deduct deductions less less deductions under section chapter under section or deduction allowed under 
deduction allowed under chapter 6 a 80 c comma 80 double c to 80 u okay so we already by forget the deductions one by one first of all section 80 c so we already know the deductions under section 80 c that is life insurance premium life insurance premium and ATC that is contribution of employee here his contribution okay here ATC his contribution one by one contribution to RPF in inner column 19,968 and second And second LIC premium LIC premium so full LIC premium or all LIC premium is allowed for deduction that is 4200 4200 now make the total and put this total in outer column gross qualified amount make the total in inner column and that total is called gross qualified amount for deduction So gross qualified amount is equal to 24,000 24,168 that is called gross gross qualified amount gross qualified amount then deduction under section ATG so deduction under section ATG that is that is donation to government for promotion of for promotion of family planning okay amounting to rupees 2000 and next donation to pm national relief fund national relief fund amounting to rupees 2500 2500 now they make the total 
now make the total now make the total add this total in gross qualified amount okay and put this figure in outer column that is 28000 28668 deduct these 28668 from gross total income we received we received 2 lakh 2 lakh 3032 that total is called that total is called total taxable income of an individual okay so here we compute a total taxable income of an individual in our next lecture we are solve another illustration on computation of total taxable income of an individual okay got it so it is very easy remember the five heads of income okay and uh, as per the heads of income we compute the taxable income of an individual okay thank you thank you very much